Hi, what's up guys, and welcome to the second season of our Grand Campaign. This is myself and Pope John Paul. Hello guys, how are you doing? So, we're on the second season of our Grand Campaign. Like I said, this is Rise of the Republic. This is the second installment of the timeline of the Total War series. Now, just as a bit of an explanation on why we haven't continued our Rafa Sparta uh, series, is because I um, uh, I spilt coffee on my, on my tower. Yeah. <laughs> He's been banned yeah. from coffee now. Yeah, my, my coffee is now no longer allowed near my computer <laughs> or in my room or in the building. Um, <laughs> yeah, it turns out sugary coffee doesn't work with motherboards or mods. So, yeah, I've been away for a couple of weeks. Uh, if anyone, any of you airsoft is watching, that's the explanation as well. I'll go through that on my video after the 18th. But, uh, yeah, that's why we haven't posted anything. But uh, we also thought, even if we could recover the data from Rafa Sparta, we were kind of on the path to victory. And yeah. Rafa Sparta was also kind of our you know trial to see if this works out and you guys have enjoyed it and we're enjoying doing it so this this is it now this is the new campaign of the grand series this is the beginning uh we're gonna do it in a point system so myself and pope have zero points to start with and okay. uh by the time of fall the samurai when we get there uh whoever wins well wins the grand grand series yeah. um just go over the rules just to reinforce them uh, if me and Pope are to become allies, we will verbally say it, because if we're allies in the game, then uh, unfortunately we can't fight each other as AI. Um, and yet, basically at turn 100, whoever holds the most uh, settlements wins, mm -hmm. uh, or total annihilation, because it is indeed total war. It is. So yeah, uh, I believe that covers all the bases. So yeah, hand over to you, Pope. You got anything to say, if not? Um... Not much, no. I was just going to say, if we get uh, 10 likes on this video, we'll do a hour part at part five, uh, an hour part at part five. Yep, that's what I was going to say. And uh, yeah, basically, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you do, leave a like and subscribe for more that, of this uh, campaign, really. it's uh, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. I've never played this campaign um, as Rome. We did like a quick start one, and it ended in a... <laughs> a awful defeat for me in the end it was so close to victory and then it was snatched away from me but um but yeah now i've learned what we've got to do so uh so i yeah, hopefully like, will be a bit more cautious or maybe yeah, I'll just... i think that was oh yeah. no sorry no it's all right it's fine i was just gonna say either be, i'll be either be cautious or i'll uh, just go and be rash again and get myself killed who knows <laughs> yeah i think that was genuinely pope's first 30 minutes in this entire dlc and that was first out of like two sessions i don't know what i'm doing either like i've i'm yeah. um, going with syracuse it's got a pretty good start to be fair but um we we have not played this dlc much if at all so yeah. this will be very much a learning curve for us as well mm -hmm. right so i'm gonna just get on with my turn my first thing i'm gonna do is expand rome i last time i decided to build a consecrated ground but this time i'm gonna build a public forum and i'm gonna go straight down towards like amphitheater because it gets me a lot of monies. So we'll do consecrated money, ground. Money, well, money. not consecrated ground. I just said I wasn't going to do that. Public forum. Um, and then I'm going to build infantry, uh, Roman light hot plates because they were very good. And I will go with technology of Romulus and Remus. And I'm going to send out my general. Uh, not my general, my uh, spy, my veteran. And he is going to find me lots of things. Like, Vei is undefended. So I could... <laughs> I could... Mm, how many mercenaries? I can build one more mercenary. Do I build him and... Start my my move towards him? Possibly. I'm going to take that one mercenary for now. Hire him up. So we've got an extra mercenary, last and warrior. And then I'm going to build... Uh, I don't know. I'm certainly going to do a... Where is it? Oh, I could do tax harvesting. And get more money. Oh yeah, what have I got here? Could do that. But I'm going to do bread and games to start with. We'll do bread and games because popul um, happiness isn't great currently. And we could make it better. And uh, food's always handy as well. Um, and we are going to go with... I'm going to go with a civil port because it actually gives me food and it gives me commerce. So I'm going to go with that. And in that in Ostia. So that will help in my defense of that. Um, and then that's going to take three turns. That would also take three turns. Excellent. Let's look at diplomacy quickly for me. I'm going to see if there's anyone here that likes me enough to um, 
give me trade, basically. <laughs> I need money. Uh, no, money, you, money, money. Yeah, no one here will give me money. Uh, Tarkuna, <laughs> will you give me money? Uh, moderate. Oh, they said no to my non-aggression. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Um, the Hernisi. I have traded with these guys. Excellent. Non-aggression. Moderate. Could I get money out of you? Oh, I just looked at one of my technologies. Plus two public order for against a neighboring faction. Oh. An 875 income per turn from items subjects acquired through warfare. Oh. I don't know how that works, but I will figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> well, this this, this, <laughs> this deployment has been profitable. I've just um, I've just found a technology called uh, Ares and Athena. It's called twenty five percent booty from battle. <laughs> <laughs> so um, get are your we... head out the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's funny. Umbri, no. Okay, so no one wants to give me anything. They don't want to give me trade, non aggression packs. Excellent. Right, so we'll end the turn. I'll hand over to you, Scrim, and we'll see what awesome. happens. Awesome stuff. Right, we've got a pretty good strong start here. We've got a full province. Um, now, I've just tried... I think it might be an exploit. It was an exploit. Was it an exploit? Yes, it was. So while you were doing all that, I actually mm. changed the province while you were doing the turn, which kicks into effect on my next turn. That's mm. just happened, and I've now got 10% even... I've got 10% construction costs gone down, unit recruitment costs, and ship costs. So that's wow. an exploit. Just done it. I've yeah. also started my technology, but that didn't actually go down, so I presume it's only that one. So yeah, I will take that. Uh, looking at my province effects, plus public order throughout my province as well as culture, and uh, even further down construction costs. So I'm going to have a very cheap city to build. Um, off the bat, war with Carthage, but they're a little while away, but we're also an island nation, and they like their navies as well, so we'll keep an eye. Yes. Um, looking at my units... Uh, yeah, it's looking like militia units only. Mm. We'll have to look at changing that now, in fact, because I'm not going to mess around with militia units. Um, <laughs> I will crush you with those. <laughs> right, let's go to Hibla Harina. We'll build a muster field. Oh, I can get two different types. Yeah, oh. Free provincial mercenary experience. 100% provisional mercenary replenishment. Wow, that says something. Right, so that's where my hot plates are. So we're going to have to go straight towards the Hollow Sidros Barracks. Mm -hmm. Go for a muster field first, though. Get those light hot plates, which were your fan favorite in Wrath of Sparta. They were. Um, they still are. Wrath of Sparta, I love them. <laughs> uh, and if, uh, let's look at our uh, public order. I can get a Hippodrome plus 20. We we'll need to get that regardless. Oh. Oh, for plus 12, I can get the Megli Bibliotech. Which I presume is pronounced correctly. What's my temple give me? My temple. Money, food, Money. happiness. Hmm. One of these. So we're gonna go with the library because that gives me does actually give me public order. Ten percent research rate, corruption. This is actually a really powerful library. Libraries are great. Everyone go to. Yeah. Um, read. And a muster field. Uh, I'm thinking building up an army. I don't want to waste too much money though. Uh, I'm friends with these guys. That's a good start because they're at war with Carthage. Uh, trade agreement. Yes, they want a trade agreement. We haven't got a uh, non-aggression. And high. Yes, that means I can get money off you. Demand 500. Ooh. I'm wondering they whether to build it. a second legion when I go toward... Actually, get the, take the offense against the VI and uh, whether to basically just build a second army out of terrible units and just use it to overwhelm them <laughs> overwhelm with numbers yeah so i just went for a trade agreement and non and i got 200 gold out of this that's fine and i've got the argonian up north they are warlike but reliable that really conflicts with me so i go to war with them and they stick with it or they uh do i want to turtle this they don't want a non-aggression pact i might turtle this until i get a proper barracks which means leave my armies as they are, which is dangerous. But I will turtle it. Now I'll concentrate on infrastructure. So I've got that going for me. We can look at a harbour, which gives me a lot of food. And this is a really strong start. I've just... Yeah, wow. it sounds good. It is. It's really good. I've got all the food. I've got 13 food. And all my harbours give me more maritime and food. It's brilliant. Yeah. 
I think we'll concentrate on getting another harbour up. And I've got seven more populations to kick in for. What does um these they increase mercenary stuff, but they don't do anything else. I don't I'm not I don't really have mercenaries anyway, so I can leave that. All the mercs is what you need. <laughs> As a Greek state, you just don't have a proper army, just buy mercenaries with all your money. So I have a olive thing, which means extra money from agriculture. So I need to uh, get a goat ranch in there, get some more cash flowing. Uh, that'll be my main... Uh, yeah, I, look at all that. Oof. I'm just bewildered by the amount of awesome stuff I've got. Oh, I've, over, I've overstepped. I've Ooh, let's hope I don't. I mean, building anything's like 500 gold. It's so cheap. It's nice. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to turtle this. It's a bit of a dangerous tactic with Carthage. Yeah. Mm, near enough. Let's see if we can do some trade and non-aggression packs. Let's be friends with people. They don't want it. Defensive and reliable. Uh, You've got a lot of stuff to do this time compared to last, like, when we did. Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff going on. I do. What I've noticed as well is my technology tree. They uh they have something called Terror of Carthage, which is more morale and battle damage against Carthage in general. Then there's the Greeks, and then there's the Italians, and I've just ended my turn accident. Ah well. You're taking forever press... anyway. I'm gonna have to start <laughs> setting a time limit. <laughs> well I've got I've got the ground running now, so it should be just me building stuff. Okay. Oh uh, not anymore, I'm at war. Oh agreeing. Agree. Aye, oh, hey, this is annoying. Okay, well, well, I guess I'm gonna have to start mobilizing my army. So much for turtling. Yeah, they I have already moved their stuff back. Edict. Oh, bugger. Okay. And I've got a bigger navy than me. Oh, I don't want to spend that money. So they. Oh, can I build? Oh, I could just. If I go across the border, there's ah, the some more mercenaries there. Oh, there's more mercs here. Do I just build a load of mercs, siege them out, and then march on? I'm tempted just to stand the here. The science of wine. I like that science. <laughs> um, I'm tempted just to stand here for a bit and pump out maybe a load of like Latin spears. Certainly need more missiles. And then I might just get a load of Latin spears. Are these light? Uh, these are light, to be fair. Um could just build and I'll build you and then I'm at 15 next turn compared to their 7 9 oh, yes. so that'll be 15 as well but I'll siege them out so that I, I'll just siege them out and they have to come to me sounds like a plan right um, oh what's this oh. Yeah, I can't do anything on the building side of things politics I need to look at this. House of Furia. We're gaining, we're gaining influence. Excellent. Uh, none of my other factions like me, but I'm protected for 19 turns. And uh, is there anything I can do with you guys? Do a favor. Send a diplomat. Uh, declare heir. I could. I could get him promoted. Um, divorce. Um. Yeah, there's nothing I need to do in that as of yet. Um, and then could build a set. Oh my gosh, I've got like some fancy looking generals. <laughs> um, I could build a second army and get that ready just to like start striking. Um, but I'm not too bothered about that, doing that yet. I'm f still not strong enough. Um, so I'm just going to have my turn. So and then because I get another technology boost. Um, with the next uh, thing, Romulus and Remus is what I'm getting. I'm getting a tax boost. Um, I also like that Rome has just got two turns it takes to uh, take uh, with the city. I'm also not happy that Rome is not happy. It's just like, <laughs> no, no, not okay. I'm going to start my first siege battle. Fair I'm enough. just taking over Catane because both my armies are in range. It's nice to have armies with large ranges as well. My mm, bit nervous about their navy being a little bit bigger than mine. But I am also aware they can't take over my capital. Talking about my capital, what can I build here? We are mostly agriculture focused, so what can you help me with? Temple, uh, culture, entertainment. 
and industry. So your temples are kind of useless for the time being. I could do a temple of Zeus. What else can you do me agriculture-wise? Ah! There. Oh, no, no, yeah. Oh! I just hope that you ah. get crushed by Carthage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a practice field here. Yes, let's get a practice field going while I get my main barracks going too. Yes, 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 yes. We want that. Uh, my spy can go up north now since my friends to the west are probably not going to invade me because they've got Carthage to deal with. And yep, they have two armies up there, so I need to really take the settlement and start building immediately. So in we go. And so they have five spearmen. They've got two light hop like things. I've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. Yep, uh, in we go. Oh, oh, okay, wow. Oh, you got some decent units. And I'm fighting... I'm guessing I'm fighting this? Players here? Yeah. Of course I'm fighting this. I'm defending with a terrible army. And I've got no... Nah. Cav I've got no cavalry. I do. Why did they attack you? They have, like, no... They didn't. I'm attacking them. Oh, no, but you went to war, though. I'm yeah, sure. they, they decided... I don't know. They're... they're uh, <laughs> They're warlike and reliable. Is this so the, reliably is this they go the to only war. settlement? No, they got four. They got a province. Oh, okay. So uh, after that will be their capital because that's where they're building more armies, or I just snuff them out with villages. Okay. Either way, they're going to have a tough time because I'm going to be. Uh, I've got two armies to beef up. Yeah, is this on actual Italy then? Or is this still This Sicily? is Sicily. Ah, uh, still Sicily. Uh, okay, that's fine. Still Sicily. Can't have you having okay. any footholds on proper Italy. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't want you on my island. <laughs> Cold War over just like Sicily. <laughs> this is Greek versus Roman. In the yeah. End. I do believe Rome was Roman Sicily friends and really. like uh, Syracuse uh, was fairly friendly during the Punic Wars to Rome. Yeah. Yeah. How did they lose in the end? Um. Well, basically, when I think when Carthage was too weak, uh, too weak to be a problem to Rome, Rome just betrayed them and just. <laughs> that sounds ended, pretty Roman. Ended friendly. the friendship. On the edge of a spear. Yeah, this, this, this. Uh, sadly, though, we are back to our generic Greek no, villages. That's fine. You can. I'm sure you can manage. It's been about a hundred years, I think, between this DLC and the other one. And they haven't changed their architecture very much. I know. I was just like, I, I'm just loading in, waiting, and it's. Uh... <laughs> It's going to be uh, interesting, to, interesting to see what you got to to take. That is anyway. I'm not going to. You've got a navy as well, but they're pretty useless where they are. Hey, don't be harsh to my navy. My navy's strong and stable. And um... you've got 240 men. 210 actually on that fleet <laughs> well I mean this is yeah I'm definitely cutting out get into that but anyway anyway we are yeah. back on the battlefield now so we're oh, here. there we go we're here we're ready Ricio. oh this looks a different this looks different to the ones in Wrath of Sparta ever so mm. slightly you can make slightly. noises but it does um I probably could actually do this with two. Oh, you're 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 rushing me. I'm rushing you. Light up. You can see my army, can't you? Um, yeah, yeah. You got two armies, yeah. though. Yeah, that's one over here. Yeah. Um, and then fleet. Oh god, these units don't even. Oh, these ones do. Okay. Ha! <laughs> the militia are so shit. Thank God, I've got. Only two units of them. Uh, I'm being rushed. Um, but but we're I'm okay. not gonna lie, that was a total accident. Yeah, yeah. Well, it probably was. No new. Um, well, I did press the enter button next to my mouse by accident. That ended my turn. Ah, well. Do you, if you want to just uh, two speed it, then we can. Uh, we can just get on with it. I'm just gonna wait. Oh, I've got three cavalry units. That's a good start. This is a man that uh, said earlier, I don't like cavalry. 
It's like, oh, I have three cavalry units. No, I don't like your cavalry. Uh, uh -huh. That's... I guess that is different, yes. <laughs> you can... Oh, God, I'm just having a fight with my own ships. Ramming I speed! Suggest doing that. Ramming speed! Just, just go and park your boat. My right. phone is vibrating at me. It is annoying. It's probably just saying, uh, you're needed elsewhere. Can you please leave this battle? Oh, there's a, that's a, that's a spot that you can that you can come in. Oh, this is not a defensible position at all. Oh dear. Um, you go. Hey there, buddy. Nice army you got going. You go there. You go like here. <gasps> oh yes, please. I'll have a bit of that. What do you mean you do? Okay, fine. Don't do that. Run! I forgot about these archers. <laughs> Run! Oh, he's, he's slowed position. it down, so he must be... He's thinking about stuff. Oh, no! Run, you fools. Run! Oh, they'll definitely what? make it. These guys will make it. Run, you fools! <laughs> <laughs> hey there, buddy. How you doing? Oh, there's actually actually a better choke point here. There's a there's a so much better. How's my general point? under attack? Oh, you got a range unit. Oh, you want to play that game? Okay. I'm just saying, Javelinmen and Spearmen are a very bad mix. Yeah, I know. I'm you know, despite the, um, the Icon card having a bow and arrow, they're using spears. It's a yeah. very confusing CA. You need to. Well, uh, yeah, but I mean, if they, put a, if they put a spear, then it's kind of like. Um, also kind of. Oh, they do have bows and arrows. They're just throwing the spears to begin with. Oh. Oh, okay. That's an interesting little mechanic. Yeah. Okay, I lost like six guys in that. That was a bit of a waste. Especially when I didn't do any damage to your guys. Oh. <laughs> anyway, here comes the main assault. The main assault. The main event, as some would say. Um, right, General, come to the back. Oh, your slingers are not any old slingers. They're Greek slingers. Does that make them better? No, I don't. <laughs> it's just their name. <laughs> it says, hey, it's Greek slingers. God. Good God, they're Greek slingers. You've got Greek slingers as well. I know. I just realized that now myself after taking the mick out of all your guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your Greek slingers, they were getting rinsed. Yeah, they're not brilliant units, are they? Oof. Um, can you start moving and just kill these guys, please? God, it's like... Jeez. That's... This is fun. Fun for me, anyway. <laughs> oh, you can hit me from here? Wow. Okay, hold. Well, my guys can't go. even form. My guys can't even form a phalanx. Can they not? Oh no, they can't, can they? A militia. They're also militia getting chewed up a little bit. Yeah. Well, what are you throwing in? Oh, light hot plates. Yeah. Yeah. Not okay. <laughs> okay. Well, my slingers just somehow managed to uh, get themselves into combat. Thank you. Can you do stop that? Yeah, shoot them, please. Um, <laughs> I'd... Oh, yeah. Hoplite wall. Oh, wow. Your militia on. 
Doing well. Are they not? Oh god, they're not. Um, um, I'm trying to see what I have free that I can really um, free up. I can put them in there. Night hop lights for the win. Yeah. Really is wow, but I mean I've broken a few of your your cavalry, uh, not your cavalry, your um, slingers. Which are now protecting with building. That's the idea. Everyone's just like buildings. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's the the problem with command. You do get attacked. Oh, you sent in those hot light hot lights as well. I oh see. yes, I've sent in everything. Everyone's mobilized. <laughs> Everyone mobilized, right? Can you? Uh... Oh, one of my slingers broke. Sad. Uh, these guys can form phalanx though. So that's okay. Um, right, what else can we do? We can kill your men, I guess. That is uh, always a good thing in war. Yes. <laughs> I'll try anyway. God, these guys are just hard to. It's a two. Oh god, you broke through. Yeah, of course I did. I did not see that. Yeah, well, everyone shoot these guys. Uh, oh, but I'm breaking your guys, to be fair, actually. What you, have you given your general... Oh, that's because the hot light. Hot light, hot lights. I need to change that. Shrekking those guys that are like... Unfortunately, few I've got reserves, so yeah. I'm really not too concerned. Oh yeah, no, it's definitely not one I could win. It's not one I also care to win. <laughs> Let's just... Uh... <laughs> Damn it, <laughs> I was going to try and flank, but then you turned them nah, around. Nah, that did not work in total. Uh, but I've broken you guys here. You have, yeah. I'm still not concerned. Okay, my name's Scrim. I'm not concerned that I lost some soldiers. <laughs> I have thousands! <laughs> Just remember that I wasn't concerned in our last attempt at the campaign. <laughs> and then it all went wrong. All came shattering down. Dum dum dum. What are you doing with that goddamn sword, you fool? <laughs> I'm just using it, okay? Oh, nah. <sighs> right. I cut off one unit from the main front line. But uh, yes, the cavalry is going to get in. That's the only problem. Yep, that's the plan. That I break your infantry. Oh, I might be able to. I get one in. Unfortunately, ah. I've got a lot of cavalry, and yeah. uh, your men up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, did they, that whole... Wow, that unit broke really quickly. Yeah, I did not realize that they were so good. Wow. Yeah, these are these are my elite cavalry. I should have held on fighting your uh, light hotplates, because I had them surrounded, and I could have killed the whole unit. Damn. Well, here come the cavalry, so... Quite literally. Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh well, yeah, here they go. Just the... Missiles left. That's just. Thrown. Did you break my art? How do they break? Um, because I went into combat and just just overwhelmed you, I surrounded you straight away. At least I think I did. I thought you just ran them away. To be honest, I didn't realize I broke them until you said it. <laughs> well, I, I did a lot I'm, of damage then. I must have done a decent amount of damage. I've got so my cavalry are untouched. Believe it or not, they got lost two units each. So the the cavalry obviously are. Oh yeah, yeah. The cavalry is like fine, but like your missile cavalry is not okay, and some of your infantry is not okay. But yes, most of it is probably is okay. Pro it's probably okay, but there is some damage. There is some. Oh yeah, it's definitely some damage. I lost just, just shy, of of shy of yeah, shy of seven hundred. 
Ah, well. Just goes to show that militia hoplites are not the way forward. No, they're a bit a bit tragic. Um... <laughs> I just hope there's a barracks in Katine, because I'm still building my original barracks, and uh, it's not going to be ready yet. Well, you've taken a random region in Sicily that I do not care about. Will you care when my armies march on your uh, little boot toe there of your island? Well, yes, possibly a little bit, but Scream, you're never getting there. I'm going to... Well, actually, to be honest, I don't know if I'm getting there. <laughs> it takes forever as Rome to get started, I think. But, uh... Oh, Imperium's just gone up. Right, what have you got? you got nothing. Okay. Right, um, I'm going to move back now. Going to move back. Okay. Only because my barracks is nearly done. Okay. And I can get a whole army of light hoplites, which is why I'm not actually going to build anything, so I get a lot of money. Yeah. How much money have you got? Then, like a turn. 1700 oh and another 1100 gosh. per turn. That's disgusting. <laughs> I wish I had that much money. Money, money, money. Right, General, I don't like you, General, because you're my enemy's faction, but. For. There we go. And you have an unsuitable wife. Some men marry for love, others call them fools. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we do with this then. Uh, well, hopefully, um, Vei doesn't do anything stupid. Well, actually, no, I hope it does something stupid. I hope it doesn't do anything. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, Vei is not recruiting. Anyway, um, we won't, we won't start this turn because it is the end of the episode. 30 minutes marks the end of this episode. Um, but we will carry on very, very soon. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please remember to like and subscribe to see more of me and Scrim trying to take over Italy and uh, beat each other up, basically. <laughs> and until Absolutely, next guys. Sorry. And until next time, guys, bye for now.